welcome to today's live stream viewing my name's alex today we are taking you around a two-bedroom terraced house on gladstone road in margate the property is on the lettings market at 895 per calendar month along with a five-week deposit and the property will be available to move in from the 23rd of august so what we'll do is we'll start outside today as we are take you around show you upstairs downstairs and we might end back outside today's live stream property. Now before I take a look inside, just to show you the road itself, you can see free parking on either side of the road. It is a dead end road as well. So the only people really to come down here are the residents. So never an issue with parking whatsoever. The current tenant has pretty much moved most of their things out you can see obviously they're just clearing away a few final bits so it's pretty much empty um but obviously it's not available till the 23rd of august so uh, they are still in the process of moving everything out getting it clean and tidy ready for uh, prospective new tenants so see it's a really beautiful looking property from the outside parking obviously either side of the road so let's go take a look inside if you have got any questions at any point during the live stream please feel free to pop it into the question box that you should see on your screen. I will try and answer all questions as best as I can. If I can't answer any, I'm sure we will be able to find out the answer for you. So as soon as you walk in, the view you have got is of your hallway stairs going up. You have got a separate sort of porch-like entrance space which closes the way, so perfect little space to take off your shoes, coats, everything like that. So, central heating throughout, double glazed. First room we're going to show you today is the lounge, which is 14 foot 1 by 10 foot 1. It's a really good size. Bay fronted double glazed windows. Got these brown carpets all the way throughout. And then Magnolia. A question I've just had is will anything be done about the damp patches? So you just see that patch in the corner that is going to be looked at and we'll be able to get that sorted for you. It looks like the tenant must have had either a big unit up against the wall, and over time, it's just obviously made a mark, but they have just moved all of their bits out, so it's something that will be looked at. Another question someone has just asked is, will there be new carpets? Now, um, to the best of my knowledge, no, I know the tenant is coming in and, and cleaning and, and hoovering and everything. Uh, but if you obviously do want to apply for the property, we can always put on your application that you want to request new carpets and put it forward to the landlord to see what they say. We can certainly ask that. So that was the lounge. You have got a separate dining room here, which is 11 foot 9 by 11 foot 9. Once again... Brown carpets, lovely tall ceilings, good space in here, perfect to get a nice big dining room table. Just trying to show you the room at all angles. As I know sometimes in video you get a quick glimpse of a of a room. But really good size, like I say, everything's fine in here. And you can see the kitchen down at the end, which is seven foot three by 11 foot two. Lino flooring, cupboard space below and above counter. Integrated oven and gas hob. Space under counter for washing machine. And at the end here for fridge freezer. Obviously with the property being available from the 23rd of August, 
the current tenant is in the process of still cleaning and tidying up as they're moving out. So there's plenty of time to get everything sorted, ready for new tenant. I'll quickly pop my head outside just to show you the garden in terms of size. Obviously for anyone that does apply that we and the landlord's happy they'll get to view it. Got a really nice sized garden. An old outside storage cupboard. Question we've just had is does the landlord accept tenants with pets? So yeah, the landlord is more than happy to consider pets in their property. Just mention obviously that you have got a pet at point of application and we shall get that put forward for you. So the kitchen here, there's a little cupboard here, under stairs storage. Which is handy to have. A uh, question we've had is, does the outside toilet work? Uh, now, the honest answer is I don't know. I've never tried it. But um, what we'll do is, once people obviously apply, if they do get successful for the physical viewings, they come, we can obviously inspect inspect that for you. Coming up to the stairs, bathroom, separate toilet, just here. Same line of flooring to match the... I've just been noted that the outside toilet does work. Bathroom here, eight foot by seven foot. Separate bath and shower. So you've got a sink at the end. And then this standing shower. Just here. Question I've had, any white goods? So you've got the integrated oven and gas hob. Uh, but the tenant would need to supply their own fridge freezer and washing machine. Now you come back up a couple of stairs to see the two bedrooms. Start off with the smaller bedroom of the two, which is 11 foot 9 by 9 foot. Once again, a really good size. Double bedroom and the double glazed window looking out to the rear garden and the one radiator just next to the door. If you have got any more questions, pop them into the question box. If you'd like to apply for a physical viewing, then please do give us a call on 01843 700. Council tax band for the property is band bracket B. In the final room of today's live stream, we will go back down and show you the rest of the rooms once again. Uh, but the final room of the house is the master bedroom, which is 12 foot one by 14 foot 10. So a really lovely sized bedroom. Here, you could fit pretty much whatever size bed you'd like. Question I've had is, will the washing machine be provided? Uh, unfortunately not, no. Just the oven and gas hob will be provided. The tenant will be liable to provide their own fridge, freezer and washing machine. Got two double glazed sash windows here looking out onto the front of Gladstone Road. For anyone who's not familiar with the area, you are a short distance away from the Margate Hospital. Easy routes into Margate and also easy routes to Westwood Cross Shopping Centre. If you drive, if you don't drive and you require public transport, you're pretty much around the corner from the loop bus stop. It takes you all the way pretty much around the loop of Thanet, so Margate, Broadstairs, Ramsgate. And even allows you to get the bus to the train station if need be. Uh, so a really good location. Good area for schools. You've got a couple of schools in the local area. Heading out to Broadstairs and even back into Margate. 
But if you would like to apply for a physical viewing of the property, all you need to do is give the office a call on 01843 222 700. It's 01843 222 700. I'll just take you back round once more. For any last questions, our live stream will be uploaded to our YouTube channel for anyone to give it a rewatch. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date with any live streams that you may miss or if you'd like to rewatch any live streams that you have watched. If you'd like to apply for a physical viewing, please give the office a call on 01843. Triple two, seven hundred. Two bedroom, terraced property, Gladstone Road, Margate. On the lessons market at £895 per calendar month, along with a five week deposit. Available to move in from the 23rd of August. Once we've taken everyone's applications, We'll go forward to the landlord and which on a normal basis they would narrow it down to their top applicants at which that point we'd get them booked in. Gives you a chance to come and see the property in person and then obviously whoever is still happy to proceed after physical viewing will then await the landlord's final decision on who they wish to proceed to referencing with. So I do thank you all on joining me for today's live stream online viewing. Hope you have enjoyed it. We'll be uploading our YouTube uh, virtual tour to our YouTube channel. Just had a question. Who's the red fence belong to as it doesn't look secure? So the fence on the right side, I'm not sure, but it's something that I can find out for you. And we'll let you know. But if you would like to apply, for a physical viewing, please do give us a call on 01843 222 700. Thank you.